so the outline of this chapter would be like this first we will see the type of passages which are generally asked in the reading comprehension section okay and after that uh, we will see the types of question which you might expect in reading comprehension okay then we will see the mistakes while uh, we attempt the reading comprehension okay and the next one is the strategy this is very important part of the video you should uh, absolutely watch this part okay and the last one we will see a one sample passage okay to appreciate what we have studied in this video okay so the first part that we are going to tell you about the type of passages in rc in drdu septum generally you will find passages of two to three paragraphs okay so two to three paragraph you can expect and this passages can be broadly classified into two categories either it can be technical where some scientific or research based paragraph uh, can be given okay and in the non technical you can have stories criticism or social or economic uh, author's viewpoint okay these are the type of passages technical and non technical okay so let's to the go to the next slide let's see the type of question which can be asked in reading comprehension the first type you can find is factual based question these are generally easy one and in drdu septum you can expect these type of question where uh, like this according to author what is dash or, or what is what we will see in the question okay so these fact based question are very easy and you should at least attempt these question okay the next one is vocab based question uh, like what is the synonym of the given word in the paragraph okay so here your vocabulary should be enough strong to answer this question okay if you are sure then you can attempt this question third one is the inference based question these are very uh, typical one okay and where uh, you have to use your mind otherwise you could not able to answer this question okay in these type of question uh, like this the central idea of the given passage is what okay so you have to read the passage after that you can infer only okay and in the second uh, which of the following must be true or false these are also very important in inference based type okay in drdu septum you can expect factual based question and vocab based question in reading comprehension okay so let's see the next thing so these are the mistakes uh, which we generally attempt while uh, doing the rc okay so first thing is that we do not have reading habits okay so we are generally poor readers because of which while attempting we uh, generally do some mistakes okay so this uh, reading habit if you don't have you should develop if you are preparing for any competitive exam okay because english cannot be skipped in any uh, competitive exam just consider this okay second one is over analyzing the pa passages okay we do lot of uh, analyzing while reading everything okay we will try to underline everything that is wrong okay you should not over analyze the passage because you uh, this question like uh, reading comprehension is given to check your reading ability whether you are able to grasp that knowledge or not okay coming to the next while attempting uh, you should Uh, not attempt too much time if you are not able to comprehend the reading passage then you should skip it and move to the next question this is my advice okay coming to the next question uh, part that is not practicing okay generally we don't practice we only just uh, go in the exam and try to uh, attempt rc okay this is wrong so you should practice at least 5 to 10 reading comprehension in a month i am not talking about in a days in a month you should practice at least coming to the strategies uh, which is very important in this video how to solve this reading comprehension passages 
first is a common approach in common approach what we do first we read the passage after that we underline and note the important facts okay and after that we attempt the given question okay and uh, in the next step we backtrack and confirm the answer okay so you can see how much time we are wasting in doing this common approach okay so better approach would be reverse approach i think most of you ha must have uh, done this so in this uh, we see the question first okay instead of uh, straight away going to read that uh, reading comprehension we just see the question okay from the question you can uh, have a little bit understanding what could be inside that passage after that we read the passage quickly okay and whatever we are reading you should link your reading with the questions okay so simultaneously you try to answer the question you you should not be like this i will first read after that i will answer the question that is wrong approach okay so just follow this reverse approach it would be quite helpful okay so let's see one sample passages uh, so this is the passage and we have to answer the question we will use the reverse approach okay in reverse approach first we will see the question okay so questions is like this silence seem to be the essence of these are four options so something communication and silence is given in the passage that we can conclude okay for the listener silence can be emphasize the point be a potent to lure him to say more by time okay and after that according to author okay the pregnant pause is what so these are the four options so pregnant pause you we should understand what is the opposite meaning of potent okay so let's go back to the first question so first uh, we will read at the first the silence would be seem to be the essence of non communication so in the first line uh, we can itself conclude silence seem to be the essence of what you can directly answer na what non communication so you are linking your reading straight away with the question in the itself okay so the correct answer for this question is option d non communication this seem to be straight forward but see if you are uh, reading starting to end and then coming to the question then you might uh, give wrong answer for this question okay next question for the listener silence can be let's see the next statement yet we know that in some some certain circumstances silent can speak volume it is also potent tool in communication toolbox for the speaker as it add emphasis to the point allowing for its significance to sink in right now we have nothing to do with this question right now so handled skillfully it can build up anticipation for what is come to the pregnant pause okay so pregnant pause we have already seen in the next question so we go to that question and try to link straight away so uh, so it gives opportunity to make eye contact with the audience and gauge their reaction it is essential component of timing of one delivery for a sil uh, li listener silence can buy time either to digest what has been said or to consider what is response okay so this pregnant pause you can straight away go to this thing what it can do it can build anticipation so correct answer for this question is builds an anticipation okay in the next line uh, i am going to the previous question this was the previous question for the listener silence can buy time see these are the factual questions that we told you in the previous video so you can straight away link here this uh, for si lis listener silence can buy time so correct answer is option d buy time so uh, you can understand that we are linking our reading with the question itself during the attempt okay so let's see the third question the opposite of potent so we have already seen the word potent it is also a potent tool in communication bool okay for potent you can think of it is very potent tools it is very strong tool in communication toolbox okay 
Why it is strong? Because as uh, it adds to the point allowing its full significance to the sink in. Okay. So what is the uh, opposite of strong? Yes, weak. So you can link uh, this with the weak. So option C is the correct answer. Okay. So this was the thing students. Uh, you practice a lot on reading comprehension and uh, you can score good marks if you attempt reading comprehension in journal english okay and don't forget that uh, you should not uh, take much time in attempting this question okay you should uh, bifurcate your time in such a way that you answer your question as well as you complete your paper that is only the tip that we can give you okay that's all students uh, we will come with more videos i hope you are liking it if you like it you can have a hit button okay thank you have a nice day